Look, I promised folks a couple of things and we're way late. So um, speaking of things that materialize that uh, people didn't necessarily expect, let's let's go to video eight here to see what we launched on uh, the Young Turks at one point and see what became of it. Here we're going to try to save the soul of the Democratic Party by boarding the Democratic Party's ship and taking it over. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna run strong progressives. And we are launching today something that will represent not the donors, not the multinational corporations, but just us. So this is a perfectly fine hashtag to use and I was thinking of using it when we were initially coming up with this idea. And I thought it, I looked at it and I was like, just us, just us. Perhaps what we're really seeking is justice. We want you to represent just us, not your donors. Just the voters, not your donors. So from now on, there will be a new wing of the Democratic Party. And it will be the justice Democrats. We will seek social justice, economic justice, racial justice, and plain old justice justice for the American worker. Damn, that's historical. It's amazing uh, that the Chirons hit correctly at the right time. That I think is a, that's a, that's a, that was a, a victory yeah, that was all in itself. Part. I was like, is just us gonna change to justice at the right time? I would have bet, right? I was watching it, I lost that bet too, a little bet with myself. <laughs> yeah. And then Stop just Democrats gambling. hit nail all the way through. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, look, that's why I tell the audience, you know, we, we've created some things here. Um, it's, it's like 19 years later, it still feels underground. Um, and uh, and we never left our war room. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but now there's 10 just Democrats uh, in Congress. Um, and uh, I think folks didn't see that coming. I'm not sure they still see it. Uh, but I wanted to give you one more clip about that. Uh, let's go to uh, video nine. So in fact, as there- Well, Congressman Conn, are you aware of something called the Justice Democrats? The of course I am. You are, the strong progressive wing of the Democratic Party that's uncorrupted by corporate and PAC money? Absolutely. Yes, quick question for you, um, will you join the Justice Democrats? Yes, with enthusiasm. Okay, so you're officially a Justice Democrat now? I am. Okay, one more question for you, <laughs> will you be our champion? I would be honored to. <laughs> There's a sitting US Congressman and Justice Democrat. I, I would like to say about Ro Khanna, best voice in the game. I love his voice. Yeah, well, best a lot of things in the game because um, so we started Just Democrats and nobody had won yet, right? AOC had not won yet. And Ro Khanna like jumped out and was like, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I like it. I'm going to do it. And he already didn't take corporate PAC money, so it was easier for him in that sense. But we were primarying sitting Democrats. It took a lot of balls for a sitting congressman to go, "Oh, you guys are primarying Joe Crowley, the person who's most likely to be the next Speaker of the House. Sure, I'll join your group for no reason, <laughs> right? And he did. And so you just you got to give him a ton of credit. And then we. I wound up signing up uh, Pramila Jayapal and Rogue or Hava too. And then and then the rest of the founders of Just Democrats did a brilliant job on AOC's campaign. And obviously we had her on a bunch of times, Rashida Tlaib and, and now Bowman and Bush, etc. So kind of a hell of a thing that uh, you, you, now if you're watching this, you're a member. So you all did that and uh, well, now it's out in the world. Let's see what happens next. Um. And uh, Jamie Raskin, not technically a Justice Democrat, right? No, no, but, not yet. But basically, come on. Oh, J Jamie is is a yeah. wonderful progressive, and yes, yeah. in spirit, he definitely is. Yeah. Does not take corporate PAC money. Is a strong progressive. And I, I look when I left the group technically, um, uh, I stopped going and talking to uh, sitting congressmen and and trying to recruit them. Uh, so, but I'll, I'll go back to that one day. And so, and, and there's a moment for the Raskins of the world to join. Yes. Yeah, I referred to Jamie Raskin yesterday as uh, Democrat, Justice Democrat adjacent. 
Have you, um, <laughs> have either of you guys, uh, just whichever one of you has, just jump in. Either one of you caught a touchdown pass from Jamie Raskin. Which one? I can't remember either. Either of you? No. No. Oh, so I, just well, me. Any of us? Just me. Just, just me. Casey no, Clark, I have. Right? I have. I've caught uh, more than one touchdown pass from. Uh, uh, from Jamie Raskin, proud uh, uh, to say, graduate of Georgetown Day High School, uh, six years ahead of me. But his brother was in my class, Noah Raskin, and uh, and so occasionally Jamie would join our football games and went by. And, and Jamie was a leader then because if Jamie joined our football games, and I'm talking like when we're 19, 20, so it's not like we're kids and he's 26 then or something. Um, but uh, whether we were 14 and he was 20 or whatever, Jamie was playing quarterback and he was directing all the plays. And what annoyed me about Jamie was because uh, Jamie was insistent on getting the ball to everybody. Like everybody was gonna get included, like uh, which you know I found incredibly irritating because I wanted all the passes. Um, <laughs> and he didn't appreciate that I was good enough. That I didn't earlier, but I still I, he liked. I caught a really nice ball from him, and uh, that impressed him. And I I remember still to this day because he's you know he's a friend's older brother, you know. And you you're like you feel good. You're like oh, okay. yeah. You just knew that anyway. There was something special about Jamie at, at an early age. Let, let me tell you guys real quick two great things about Jamie. Um, so number one, um, uh, he he. When he first won the congressional seat, he was in a super tough race against Chris Matthews' wife and another establishment Democrat politician, right? And and people did not expect he was the underdog. They did not expect him to win. And and we did a segment on him near the end of his campaign, and he got a like a rush of volunteers and donations after we did a segment, and we might have done two. And he has been literally forever grateful for that. He he never forgets it, and that's not about me or any of us on air. He he always mentions the TYT audience and how they saved the day, and so that's awesome. That's I just I love that. So apparently, you guys also caught a touchdown pass from Jamie Raskin. And I would like to point out how connected to that race I was. My first job in television was as as a sports producer at WJLA, the ABC affiliate in Washington, where one of the news anchors was Kathleen Matthews. Chris Matthews' wife, who Jamie beat in that race, um, and who, by the way, is lovely. I mean, I'm, I'm happy Jamie won, but nothing wrong with Kathleen Matthews. Right. And then the other story about Jamie Raskin, I think, is speaks even uh, better of him. Um, so I met Jamie Raskin when he was a Maryland state uh, legislature legislator, uh, and and that's because I had gone to uh, talk to him about Wolfpack. And the executive director of Wolfpack said, this is the guy we gotta know in Maryland because he's the constitutional scholar in their legislature. And and I said, yeah, but will he take a meeting? Because he's kind of a fairly high up at that point in, in Maryland. And and he said, "Oh yeah, he's a, he's a really smart guy. He knows his stuff, so we gotta be prepared. But he's a really nice guy, so yeah, he'll take the meeting. And he did, and Ryan and I went in and, and we talked to him. And he was against the Constitutional Convention when we went in. He heard us out and he said, you guys have made a really compelling case. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna study it more and I'll get back to you. And then he called us, I don't remember, a week, two weeks later. And he's like, turns out you guys were right. I'm now in favor of a convention. Just in general, I've never had that happen. In life, well, listen, nobody's had that happen. In general, <laughs> in life, how many people out of 100, when they say they're gonna study something and get back to you, study something, and get back to you. <laughs> that alone is a minor. Right. Move. Forget, forget that they agreed. Just, you know, it never has. I'm gonna, I'll study it and get back to you. All right, that's a no. That's it. You move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he ask a girl to the uh, to the high school dance. I'm gonna consider your offer, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going with you. She's not going. Yeah. Yeah. No, but but it's even better than that because he was already considered because he was a, a constitutional scholar. So you then your ego would be invested in not being wrong and changing your position. And the, he overcame that because he thought, well, what they're saying is true. Oh my God, that's a hell of a thing. Yeah. And yeah. Literally, I've never seen it in any politician. That story oh. is good, is not as good as catching a touchdown pass from him. But you know, you got your story and I have mine. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. 
you'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.